So if you're tired of have the same three hairstyles for your metahuman, luckily you can use the rich library of those hairstyles for your metahuman and I'm gonna show you how. Or you can join my custom metahuman course where I show you how you can make custom hairstyle from scratch and many other customization options to give your metahuman a truly unique look. My name is Mars Framenis and let's jump into it. We will start by downloading two plugins. You will need to download and install Dust to the Blender Bridge plugin for your Dust Studio and Blender. And also we'll need to download and install Hair Converter add-on for Blender. Both links are in description. Now you can open your Unreal Engine project. Find any MetaHuman you want to use and open MetaHuman Blueprint. In Blueprint go to Face and find Face Skeletal Mesh. Then make a right click, go to Asset Actions, Export. In Export window, uncheck everything. Now open Dust Studio, choose a character. I will use Genesis 8 Male. Apply any hairstyle you want. Make sure selection is active, then go to File, Send to, Dust to Blender. Leave default settings. Then in Blender, go to Edit, Preferences. In add on section, install and make sure Mesh Hair Converter is enabled and Dust to Blender is installed and enabled. Now open Tools section and choose Dust to Blender. Then click Import New Genesis Figure. Delete everything except hair. Then go to File, Import, FBX and import MetaHuman Face Mesh. You can click on the Skeletal Mesh and hide it. Then click on the hair and go to Edit Mode. Adjust the mesh position to roughly match the metahuman head. You can scale it if needed. Then we can hide metahuman head since we don't need it anymore. Then select hair again and go to edit mode. Select any face of a scalp, then press Ctrl L to select linked parts. Then press P, selection, to separate scalp from the hair. Then go back to the object mode. Since my hair have a hairband, I will duplicate my hair and hide duplicated mesh for now. Then select hair and then scalp. Open hair plugin window and click convert hair. Now hair is converted to particle system and attached to the scalp. Since I'm not planning to use physics simulation on my hair, I will attach hairband to my hair as a static mesh. I will hide hair for now and then hide duplicated mesh. In edit mode, I will remove hair so I have a band only. Then we'll adjust hairband size and by using particle editor, I will adjust hair. Now select Sculpt, go to Particle Properties, and under Render, make sure Show Emitter is deselected. Then go to File, Export, Alembic. In the Export menu, change Scale to 100, and select Selected Objects and Visible Objects, then Export. I will also export my hairband as OBJ. Now in Unreal Engine Project, go to Edit Plugins, in search bar search for the groom and make sure groom and alembic groom importer is enabled. Then import alembic hair file into the Unreal Engine project. If you see this import window, you have done everything right so far. If not, check your steps again. Double check that show emitter is disabled in the render section. Set X rotation to the minus 90 and Z to 180 and click import. We'll also import my OBJ file. Now we can select our character, go to here and assign hair to our metahuman. You can see the hair is not attached to the head, since Unreal Engine is using the binding assets for that. Let's make one. Make a right click on your hair and choose Create Binding. In the target, set your metahuman head mesh. Now on the hair, assign new binding asset. Now our metahuman has a new hairstyle. Now I will add my hairband by dragging static mesh into the construction script. Then grab a hair component and drag it into the construction script. Then from the return pin, I will search for attach component to component. And set hair as a parent. And that's it. Now our character has a custom hairstyle that looks good even if you are playing animations. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or you want to showcase your work, don't forget to join my Discord channel. Till next time.